Yeah, you don't usually see, you know when drivers having fun when they keep running. If they're not, they come in pretty quick to complain about something. So yeah, a lot of long runs today, learning about the track, uh, seeing the tire fall off, the little grooves that you can find to try to find any kind of edge. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You got to keep that car on the bottom and really take care of your tires um, at this place and should create some interesting racing for sure. Why is this, you're, you know your history very, very well. Why is this such a big deal? Why is the All-Star Racing Week such a big deal for you guys, the community, the fans, everybody? Well, I mean, uh, there's a lot of history at this, this place. Um, my dad raced here. He was able to win a late mall race here and take an elevator ride. A um, lot of good memories. And for me as a kid, I've always driven by here and kind of looked at this place as a ghost because I, I just don't remember the times that we've had here. But I've heard it from my family, the friends, my grandfather, everybody at RCR. And uh, to finally get that opportunity to get on track in front of a, a sold out house, it's going to be awesome. It's just right down the road from, from home. So it feels like home, it's beautiful up here. Um, I feel like once you get up here, you better be expected to stay up here because it's gonna be a crowded place. Uh, I'm excited about it though. And what were your impressions today going around the track? Yeah, I mean, it's challenging. Uh, it's got a lot of character to it. Kind of like the signs that you see, the patina of the track has that too. And it's rough and gritty and uh, you gotta try and take care of your tires. What are you looking forward to the most about the All-Star Race here? <coughs> What am I looking to forward forward to the most? I mean, just you know, driving for a million dollars at an old short track. That um, it's not just about how fast you go; it's about who's disciplined enough to take care of your car and your tires. And um, yeah, it's exciting for sure. You, know, you mentioned the history for you personally. How important was it to preserve a track like North Wilkesboro and to be able to come back and race here? Um, I think uh, you know. As a child, like driving by here all the time, and I came here in 2010 and did a music video with Tim Duggar, just driving a truck around here. It's cool to see the progress that they've made and that Marcus and SMI have taken this as a challenge and really made it beautiful again. I mean, they're going to have it prime and one of those places that you want to come and visit. Um, hopefully this is like a, a master's kind of for us as NASCAR, like an Augusta feel, that old time uh, classic. Uh, that you want to come watch and you know Darlington has that feel and this place is going to have it too. There's uh, only a couple of you that come do this test. Uh, how jealous is the rest of the field that you guys are out here today? I'm pretty sure they're probably a little upset that uh, there's only three of us doing it but they get tests to go other places that were racing for points so uh, this was kind of the last um, spot we got to choose from and I was excited to come here because you know it's, it's nice to go race for a million dollars. Let's out from behind. Let's see that shirt real quick and talk about that. Oh, just the RCR shirt. Go to the museum. Check out the Flying Aces shirt. This is just a uh, hoodie or also, sweatshirt. Last week, I talked to the son of the guy who built this place. He said they ran out of money when they were playing, when they were grading it. So it's uphill and downhill. Can y'all feel that in the race car? Please? Yeah, you definitely can. In the turn uh, one and two, it's easy to miss that corner by overdriving it. Um, you kind of want to make sure you're disciplined down there. Three and four is pretty self-explanatory. You try and hook that seam down there on the bottom and, and keep yourself down there. But yeah, it's got some character there and it, it just naturally carries you off in the corner too fast. Obviously the money would be nice, you know, coming with winning the race, but since you grew up not too far from here, does that add a little extra for wanting to win this one? Yeah, definitely being a boy from North Carolina. Um, there's not a lot of North Carolina drivers, uh, truthfully, out there. I mean, a lot of people live here, but they're not from North Carolina. So to win in, in front of uh, all these hometown fans would be special.